students, welcome to Inspire From Universe. It's a student special channel. In my previous video, we have seen how can we decide students' career path. If you have missed watching it, kindly click the link below to watch it. It will be highly useful to you. If you have decided engineering, then this is the video for you, friends. Yes, it's an engineering special video. In my next set of videos, we shall see other streams like medicine, finance, teaching, law, etc. To come up with these useful videos, kindly support by subscribing and share to everyone so that it can reach more students' community. If you have decided the mainstream as engineering but not sure what to specialize or if you want to know the latest option available, then there is an easy way to check. You can browse through engineering specialized universities to know about the divisions, job opportunities, etc. For example, if you browse through University of Waterloo's website, you can see in detail the information. If you have decided the course and if you have decided to study abroad, then the next question is where to apply? There are three basic factors that play a vital role in deciding this. The first and foremost factor is the student's capability. The second one is about the financial capability. And the third one is what is your expectation when you send or go abroad to do your higher education. Before going in detail, I would like to mention that all information provided in this video is to have a basic idea. So get in detail before deciding a particular country or a university. All universities in the world recognize IB and Cambridge Board, but if you have studied in Central or State Board, you may require certain additional qualifications. Apart from this, there may be a country or a university specific requirements too. For example, if you want to apply for universities in the USA, you need SAT scores. And if you need to apply for Oxford University, then you need to attend math admission tests conducted by them. It is also required to have a good score in English proficiency tests like TOEFL or IELTS Academic by most of the universities and even for student visa processing. Apart from academic excellence, elements like having relevant field experience, proof of leadership qualities, extracurricular activities or community services, letter of recommendation from school counselors or teachers, personal essay, all will build up your profile stronger for admission and scholarship. These are the general requirements for any university across the world. Now, let us explore country-wise. Apart from India, countries like the USA, Canada, the UK, Australia, New Zealand, Singapore, Germany, and Hong Kong are famous for engineering universities. So let us first explore about the universities in the UK. The course duration here is between 3 to 4 years. Expectations are very high if applying for the top university. For example, if you are applying for the University of Cambridge, the minimum criteria to apply are if IB curriculum, a score of 36 right from grade 9 to grade 12 predicted score, and 3 A stars for Cambridge Board. For Central Board, students tend to certificate and predicted score of minimum 90%, and if it's State Board, 95% are required. And you also need a high ranking score in IIT JEE Advanced Exam. Friends, these requirements are only for applying. For admission requirement is way more. The higher the global ranking of the universities, the tougher to get admission. Apart from these requirements, top universities like Cambridge and Oxford have their own separate entrance exams too. If you are in the top university in the UK, expense can be around fifty to $60,000 per year. This varies based on the university ranking and its location. 
If you have an excellent profile, there are chances of getting a scholarship and if you apply to less ranking universities, chances are even brighter. To know more about scholarships and financial assistance, you can explore in the website of the UK Council for International Student Affairs. Famous engineering colleges or universities in the UK are Imperial College of London, University of Cambridge, University of Manchester, University of Nottingham, University of Oxford, and University of Southampton. All students can get work permit for two years to stay and search for job opportunities. After five years of work experience, you are eligible to apply for a permanent residence. This may vary based on government policy. Though all the visions of engineering are famous here, architecture and chemical engineering have significant importance. To apply for any university in the UK, you need to apply to the common application system, namely University and College Admissions Service. The deadline of applications are mostly by end of January. Though there are points of concern like the tough admission criteria and being expensive, if you look at the advantages of studying here, first and foremost is their internationally recognized qualification, high remuneration benefits, possibility of getting part permanent resident in 5 or 6 years, and citizenship after that are the prime benefits. If you are a work permit holder itself, you can get free education and health benefits for your family. You can also explore outside UK once you get the citizenship for better remuneration benefits. If you have citizenship, your children can study in the same university at a much cheaper cost. Now let us look into Australia. Australian National University, University of New South Wales, University of Sydney, and University of Melbourne are the famous universities in Australia. You have provision to do honours or can study double degree specialisation. For example, in Australian National University, you can combine two degrees like Bachelor of IT and Bachelor of Economics in four years. Or in University of Sydney, you can combine Computer Science Engineering and Project Management and complete in five years. Thus, you can combine and study courses as you prefer. If you look at the points of concern, studying in Australia is also as expensive as the UK. Limited job opportunities, so you need to be careful in which university to study and your performance. Cost of living in Australia is also high. Now let us look into the advantages. The first one is comparatively easier admission process and hence better chances of getting admission. And there are no specific university examination process. Admission is based on your profile and final academic scores. But English proficiency score in IELTS or TOEFL is compulsory. All students get two years work permit to live and search for job opportunity in metropolitan cities. If you are willing to live in a less populated cities like Adelaide and Darwin, you can get up to 4 years of work permit. Even PR processing is faster and quicker compared to the UK. Let us look into other countries in my next episode. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and share to parents, students and teachers. Until we meet again in my next video, take care and bye friends!